school. So I'm not telling anyone you don't go to college. God bless you. Please go to college. That's great for everyone. But if you're not going to, you need a skill. You got to have some skill. Go to a trucking company. We can't find drivers either. I have the prices of freight go up and up and up. I can get a truck. I can get a container from China cheaper to the Long Beach port than I can a truck from New York to Long Beach. Literally. I mean, it's amazing, like twice as much because we can't find drivers. And we're 50,000 drivers short this year. By the year 2020, they said we're gonna be 150,000 drivers short. So driving school, we make 75,000 a year. Gonna have to work, I know. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but young people, millennials, none of you are millennials, thank you God. Uh, millennials <laughs> don't like to work that much. They wanna play video games and they're like, what? No, I'm going to do this and smoke weed and get, get off work at 5 o'clock and chill with their girl. And it's like, no, no. And, and I'll, I will not cuss today, but I kind of cuss a lot. But millennials don't want to work. They want to be done at 5. They don't want to get up at 5 a.m. They don't want to get to work at 7 a.m. They want to live in their parents' basement. They want to live in the, They want their parents to pay for that. Yeah, and, and, they're, and they are perfectly happy staying home. So... You have to really want to work, and the really secret to success is working harder and smarter than the person next to you or anyone else. If you get a job and you're a nurse, you can you can go to a vocational school, start working at a hospital. They have programs where they will put you through college. My cousin, my auntie, my mom all went to college through a hospital, putting them through work, and all they were were CNAs when they started, nursing assistants. So. There's a lot of ways to make money, and you can make good money being a nurse, people, boys and girls. I mean, you can be a traveling nurse. They will send you all over the country, pay 75 bucks an hour, pay for your room, pay for your board, travel all over the United States if you just go be a traveling nurse. So you can be a truck driver, travel all over the country, make plenty of money. You can be a nurse, you can be in construction, and Folks, there, there are vocational schools to help you with construction. Another problem we have is with millennials, that, and, and my, I am the worst culprit. Do everything for your kid, don't teach them how to do anything, just I'll take care of it, I'm working, do this. Go and learn a skill, you gotta learn something. Volunteer, be an intern, I know it sounds horrible going to work for free. Find a construction company, say hey, I'll be a laborer, I'll do it for free if someone will teach me six months of that and you show them you care they will move you up all we want as employers is people that care that care about what they're doing that care about the end user the client and it's hard to find people that care because everyone's got such attitude because i'm going to be a baller i i want millions it's like well we all want millions 
Everybody wants millions. I have lost more millions than any of you probably will ever make in your life. I have lost three businesses. It's not for anything to do with me. It's just economy and certain things happen, but you just can't stop. You gotta keep going. I mean, you gotta keep trying because as soon as you stop, you're done. As soon as you go, oh, it's too hard. Well, it's hard. Life's very hard. It is not easy and nobody's gonna give you anything. I mean, you have to pay attention and if you're not gonna go to school, read. People, you got this little thing in your hand, most of you, that's called a cell phone, that's a smartphone. It's a computer. Don't tell me you don't have a book, I don't have this, I don't know where to go, I don't know how to find a mentor, I don't know where to intern. Anybody you call and say, I will come work for free. They will say, yes, come and do that. If you wanna be an actor or you wanna be in music or anything else, do you know why people don't make it? Because they can't work for free and everybody wants to be in Hollywood. Everybody wants to be in music. You know what? They use intern after intern after intern and you're no one to most of them. And, you're, and those are beautiful jobs if you can get it and make money at it. But, and we're in Southern California, home of all that. But those things, they got people that want to work for free all the time. And it's very hard to make a living at it. So it's not glamorous being a truck driver. It's not glamorous doing construction. It's not glamorous being a nurse. But you know what? You can have a good life. You can have money and raise your kids and have a nice car and have a nice house. You're not going to be pimp daddy and have millions of dollars. But you know what? It's very nice to be able to just go, you know what? Those shoes I want, I'm going to go buy them. You know why? I got good credit. I got a good job. I got a job. I get a job. I get a paycheck every week. So it may not be glamorous, but it's really rewarding. It's nice to have a good job. It's nice to have people look up to you and go, oh, you know, you're so smart. You're so this. This is great. And your clients are happy. Your patients would be happy. You got to figure out what you do well and what you really want to do. Because remember, all day, all, your entire adult life, most of your waking hours are working. I mean, you're working from usually up at five, six, seven. You're working till five, six, seven at night. It's 12, 14 hours a day to make money. And I mean money. If you want to make money, you got to work hard. 70, 80, 90 hours a week. And it, it isn't easy. But you know what? Once you get there and you get older, because I'm over, you know, I'm in my 50s. Now it's easier, because I know now. <laughs> yeah, because I, I know now what to do, you know? It, it's hard when you start out. And what you have to do whenever anybody asks you to do anything at any job you ever have, no matter what it is, say yes. That's all you say is yes. Even if you don't know how to do it, you got a smartphone, you got someone, you call someone, you figure out how to do it. Because the minute you say no, they're going to find someone else that's going to say yes. And that is the truth. As soon as someone says no in my company, they get a call from me. And it's like, you, you said no, no, no is not an option. No is just a starting point at everything. That's where you go. No, I can't do that. Well, then you're you're out. You have to be have confidence in yourself. You got to know you got ways in you know 2017, 2018. Figure out how to do anything. You got YouTube. You got your smartphone. So it's always yes, and you always volunteer to do more. You're not gonna get paid for it. You're gonna get have crappy fellow employees. Doesn't matter. You just want to do more than the person that's next to you. You want to do more than anyone else in your department. Even if they're not going to pay you for it, because eventually you'll move up. You'll be the next one that moves up, always. You can't be lazy. You can't be complaining. You can't be whiny like, oh, nobody gives me a chance. Nobody's going to give you a chance, ever. They're not going to give you a chance. The only way they're going to give you a chance is if you are going to make them look better. And that's really hard for young people to understand. The people above you, they don't care. They're looking at the people above them. So you got to make whoever is above you look better. You got to be smarter, faster, work harder, and no more. And if you don't want to do that job, you need to find something you want to do. Because your waking hours, 8, 10, 12 hours a day, you're working. That's what you have to do. It's not easy. It's hard. And I know it's a difficult area you guys live in. I lived in a very difficult area. I was on food stamps. I lived in a place called Pueblo Gardens in Tucson, Arizona as a little kid. And we were on food stamps and we didn't have money and life was very hard. But you know what? You just gotta 
have a good attitude. You gotta be positive. Because the law of attraction is people wanna be around people that make them feel good. So if you have good energy, like, yeah, I can do this. No matter if, if everything looks like it's not gonna happen, you gotta believe it. If you don't believe it, nobody else does. If you don't think you are the smartest, the fastest, the bravest, whatever it is, in whatever field you choose, nobody else is gonna believe it. Even if everything looks horrible and it's not happening, you're like, well, I believe it, but it's not happening. Just stick to it. You have to believe it. You gotta know there's whatever dream you have, you have to live, eat, and breathe it 24 hours a day because it's not just gonna come knocking on your door. It's not, and it's gonna be very difficult to get whatever dream you want because everybody else has dreams too. Everybody else wants to make lots of money. Everybody else wants to have a pimp daddy car. Everybody else wants to go shopping and vacations and buy things. Well, none of us are special. The only thing that makes you special is believing in yourself, working really hard and smart, and knowing what you want. You, you can't get anywhere unless you know where you're going. Then you're just wandering around and hap, you know, good luck just happens to you. It doesn't happen. Good luck means hard work. And you guys are very lucky. There's a lot of financial aid available. If you want to go to college, figure out what college. If you're sophomores, you have a little time. Juniors, you better know and you better start figuring out what you need to write to those boards to get in. You need to figure out who, what school you want to go to. They will give you money for a room. They will give you money for a board. If you write a compelling letter, they will bring you in. They will get you into school. You can get financial aid. And I don't mean student loans. Y'all sign up for student loans because that just ruins your whole life. No, I mean, it's just student loans are very difficult. You get financial aid and you get grants. Try to stay away from student loans because they will have you sign up for student loans all the time. And it's kind of predatory. I don't, they, they put our young people, our millennials, they're living in their parents' basements because they got student loans. Because they got $100,000 student loans and got degrees that they can only make $50,000 a year with. So, you know. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you want to try and get financial aid and grants. It's a little bit more work. Student loans is so much easier. But you got to think. You get an 18-year-old, they're going to go into a BMW place. I'd like that $80,000 car. Never had a job. Don't have a job now. You know what they're going to do at the school? All right, we're going to give you a loan for that $80,000. They don't care because you can't get rid of a student loan. They're, the government doesn't guarantee them. You do. There's no way to bankrupt on them. There's no way to get rid of them. And that's why the banks give you money. So make sure before you take that money and sign for a student loan, you try really hard to get financial aid and a grant. That is so important. It's a little more effort. You want, you want to pay $70,000 until you're 35 years old and can't buy a house, can't buy that car that you like. You're making money, but you still got to pay things. So a little more effort getting a financial aid or a grant That'll save your life. It will honestly save your future. And vocational schools, as far as construction or automotive, nursing, CNA, taking blood, you can get financial aid and you can get student loans there. Those are much less expensive. They get you in the workforce because I had to make money right away because I had babies right away. So I had to work. So I went to a secretary school. The only reason I got a job is because I was the only person at the construction company that could type a letter. I worked with all men, God bless men, <laughs> but nobody could type. No, nobody could type and nobody could write a letter. So that's how I moved up. And it wasn't glamorous, but I liked my job. And then because I could write a letter and do those things, then they let me do more things. And then I get to start dispatching people and being the boss of a little area. And then you move up and move up and move up. So it, it's not impossible. It's just you gotta really want it and you gotta have an idea of what you're good at, what you'd like to do. I'm gonna tell you, you're not always gonna be able to do what you like to do because I obviously didn't grow up and go, I wanna do construction and freight because, you know, that's not what I thought I would do when I grew up. But it just worked out that that's what paid me the most and I needed money to take care of my family. And I took whatever job I had to do. I cleaned houses, I was a maid, and I hate to clean. I'm a terrible <laughs> cleaner and it sucks. But I had babies at home. I had just had surgery and we didn't have money. My husband's company wasn't working out. He was a baby too. So I went out and cleaned houses. I did construction cleanup. 
And then I worked for the company that I cleaned up for. So they're like, oh.